say, I'm going to tell you a little bit about the sloth. The modern day sloth comes in five different species, with the main distinction being whether it's a two-toed sloth or a three-toed sloth. For our purposes, we'll focus on the three-toed sloth. Oh. The sloth has thick, long hair which is colored to blend with its environment. Unlike other animals, the sloth hair curves in the opposite direction, from the stomach to the back. The hair is often coated with blue-green algae during the rainy season for camouflage from predators, which include people, like you, snakes and kids with sticks. Sloths do most things upside down because, well, they live in trees. Some of the things they do inverted are eat, sleep, and be sacrificed. Because they live an upside down life, many of the internal organs, like the liver, stomach, spleen, and pancreas, are in different positions in the body than other mammals. Hmm, I didn't know that. I think I just coughed up my spleen. Sloths sometimes let a cry or a hissing sound. <laughs> The sloth has a very slow metabolism, which means they can live on small amounts of food. The sloth does not have incisor teeth to cut its food and crops leaves with their hard lips. This causes a lateral lisp when the sloth speaks, like so. Sids squeaks. Even though sloths are slow and whiny while on the ground, I just did something involuntary and missed. Surprisingly, we're very good swimmers. <laughs> They're big. They're strong. They're... Wait a minute, I thought mammoths were extinct. Yet, they lived among us as little as 11,000 years ago. They're part of the species scientifically known as Mathemus meridionalis, or simply the mammoths. And even though the woolly mammoth was smaller than another species known as the Colombian mammoth, it was still an impressive beast. Good one. It stood 11 and a half feet, or 3.5 meters high at the shoulder. It weighed between 6 and 8 tons, and consumed an average of 300 kilograms, or more than 650 pounds of vegetation daily, which means the woolly mammoth spent much of the day looking for food or foraging. Hey, do we do any special tricks, or do we just throw our weight around? Oh, oh. Oops. The appearance of the mammoth resembled today's elephants, but had smaller ears, larger tusks, was fatter, and covered in long reddish-brown hair. I'm not fat. It's this fur that makes me look big. It's poofy. Controversy abounds in the scientific community as to why the mammoth became extinct. Some believe it was caused by the arrival of mankind into the North American territory, and that they were hunted into extinction. Others believe it was the great climatic change that took place, known as the Ice Age meltdown, that altered or reduced the available food source. Thus, the woolly mammoth simply starved to death. Story time's over. The end. But could the mammoth make a comeback? Some discovered mammoth specimens were found not in fossils, but frozen in the Canadian Arctic and Siberia. The tissues of these long-lost creatures could possibly be cloned. Only time will tell. Squirrels. Cute. Fuzzy. And a little crazy. Squirrels belong to the order Rodentia with 365 species in seven squirrel families. They include the tree squirrel, ground squirrel, and the ancient saber-toothed squirrel like the one you see here, also known as a scrat. The scrat was one ferocious little squirrel. The scrat's eyes are located high and on each side of their head. This allows them a wide field of vision without turning their head. But the scrat's brain is about the size of a walnut, sometimes resulting in bad decision-making. The scrat will use its long incisor teeth to break open the shell of a nut, if it can hold on to the nut. 
The scratched teeth will grow up to six inches a year, but are worn down by constant use. The scratch will clean his nut by licking or rubbing it on his face before it's buried. This leaves a scent to the nut, which helps the scratch find it later, even under a foot of snow. When a scratch senses danger, its first instinct is to stand motionless. Then... However, even in death, a good squirrel always gets his nut. Smilodon, or saber-tooth cat, sometimes called the saber-tooth tiger, was known to roam the area of California in North America and Argentina in South America during the late Pleistocene period nearly 11,000 years ago. The saber-tooth tiger was about the size of today's African lions, with a short tail similar to the modern bobcat. With its strong muscular shoulders and neck, it would mostly feed on slow-moving large prey in which it would sink its large teeth into. But the occasional light snack, like a possum, was not out of the question. See that? that that's the total opposite of nice. The saber's huge, fang-like pair of teeth on the upper jaw were serrated like a meat-cutting knife on their back edges, allowing the cat to easily cut into its prey's hide and flesh. But despite fierce appearances, the saber was a little kitty when it came to water. Water? Water! Some paleontologists theorize the saber-toothed tigers were very social animals, living and hunting in packs, and throwing out wisecracks. Anyone asks, there were 50 of them, and uh, they were rattlesnakes. It's a fact. Animals die and somebody's got to clean up the mess. That somebody is Mr. Vulture, also known as the scavenger or the cleaner. There are a variety of vulture species, but the biggest vultures are the lappet-faced vulture in Africa and the Andean vulture in South America, each with wingspans from nine to ten and a half feet wide, which make for a beautiful chorus line. These vultures can live in the wild for up to 40 years. But with a female laying just a single egg each year after mating, she can become very protective of her lone chick. Despite their gruesome appearance and rather grisly job, the vulture performs a valuable service for the planet, and they will often range long distances from their nesting sites in search of one thing. Food. Glorious food. The Vulture, Nature's Garbage and Music Man. Over 70 million years ago, dinosaurs roamed the Earth. While the dinos became extinct, one animal who shared the same land with the dinosaurs still exists today. The possum. Possums are marsupials, meaning the females carry their babies in pouches until they are big enough to crawl and ride on her back. Possums are the size of a cat with gray and black fur, pink pointed noses with spunky attitudes. Ah, miss me, miss me, now you gotta kiss me. Despite their long history on Earth, Few possums live past the age of one year in the environment. They are mostly killed by predators or larger wildlife. Slow moving and nocturnal, when frightened and unable to flee, possums may fall into an involuntary state that causes them to look dead, thus the term playing possum. Possums prefer to be left alone and are generally gentle and placid. And possums rule. However, when frightened, they hiss and growl and show their 50 sharp teeth or resort to other drastic measures. 